Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Art Time with Mrs. Idas. Today we will be doing a fun project based off of this story, Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. In the story, Pete the Cat got some white shoes. He loved his white shoes. He went for a walk and then he stepped in a pile of strawberries. Do you remember what happened to his white shoes? Yes, they turned red. But Pete didn't cry. Goodness, no, he kept walking along. Everything is just fine. And then what happened? Yes, Pete stepped in a big pile of blueberries. Do you remember what color it turned his shoes? Yep, blue, but Pete didn't cry, goodness no. He just kept walking along. Then he stepped in a big messy puddle of mud. Do you remember what color his shoes became? Yes, they became brown. But Pete knew he didn't have to worry because he loved his shoes. And he knew that as long as he made his day a happy one, it was going to be all good. So boys and girls, in your toolkit, you will notice that you have a cute Pete the Cat head and a cute Pete the Cat shoe. What are we going to do? We're going to make a very fun little Pete the Cat popping out of his shoe. Now, Pete stepped in a pile of strawberries, so his shoe turned red. Now you can make your shoe the color of blueberries blue or strawberries red. You can even use brown for the mud, just like in our story. But you can also imagine that Pete the cat stepped in another pile of something else. If he stepped in a pile of lemons, what color would his shoes be? Yellow, that's right. If he stepped in a pile of grapes, what color do you think his shoe would be? Yes, maybe purple or green, depending on the type of grapes, right? Well, you can choose your favorite color and you can decide what color shoe, Pete will have. It could be the color of your favorite fruit or your favorite ice cream or just your very favorite color ever. So let me show you how to start this project. You're going to need your scissors and your crayons and then a little later you're also going to need your glue stick. So first let's go ahead and make Pete's head. So I see his ears here and the bottom of his face. Here's another ear. Look, I see diagonal lines and a big curve. Now we need to add some details. So the thing I like to do first, boys and girls, is get a white crayon. With the white crayon on a darker color construction paper, you will see the vividness of the white color. So first we're going to make two ovals for Pete's eyes. So I'm going to make one oval in white and color it in just like that. Then I'll make another oval about the same size as best as I can and color it in. Very good. I'll put my white crayon back and then I'm going to get yellow. I'm going to color yellow on top of these white ovals so that the yellow color really stands out. And I know that in Pete's story, his eyes are yellow. So that's why I need to use the yellow color to match my book. So I'm just going to trace over that white oval with yellow and color it in. I'll do the same on the right side, trace it over with yellow and color it in. Very good. Now I'll get my black crayon and make Pete's little eyes. So they're kind of like an up and down vertical oval inside each eye. Now I'm going to draw a line in the middle and two diagonals down. One, two. It looks like an upside down triangle. And then I'll just color it in with black, just like this. 
There's Pete's nose. I'll make a little line that goes down. Very good. And now a curved line across, like a little smile. Because Pete's always happy, he says, it's all good. Now I'm going to add three little dots. One, two, three, like little circles. One left and one, two, three little circles on the right. That's where Pete's whiskers are going to come from. So I'm going to find my white crayon again. And I'm going to make little dashes. One, two, three. There's some whiskers for Pete. One, two, three. There's some more whiskers for Pete. How fun. Now I can get a red crayon and I'm going to make a little triangle on the right ear. We're good at making triangles now, aren't we? We've been learning so much about shapes. And another little triangle on the left ear. Diagonal, diagonal, across, and color it in. Very good. Now I'm going to put Pete's head to the side for a while until I am ready with his shoe. So here's Pete's shoe. Remember, you can use any color of any fruit or vegetable or any type of food that you like that you might think that Pete will step in. I think Pete might step next in a pile of purple grapes. So if my idea says Pete is going to step in a pile of purple grapes, then I need my purple crayon. Now, if your Pete the cat steps in a pile of limes, you'll probably use the color green. If your Pete the cat steps in a pile of strawberry ice cream, then you'll probably use the color pink. That's right. So get your color and this is how we're going to color Pete's shoe. So this is called a Converse sneaker. And they usually have a little bit of white at the top. So this little stripe will stay white. And usually there's a circle that's white and the toe tip is going to stay white as well. And this sole will stay white. So we're just going to color inside this big shoe shape in the middle. Do you remember how I taught you to color? That's right, we color the sides first. So then when we color inside, it's much easier. So come to the top and use your crayon to color the first side. Go all the way across, that's the easiest way. Then you can turn your shoe. And now let's color this next side. Just like this, all the way across. Good job. Now let's turn the shoe again and we'll color across this line. So again, just those edges. This is our guide so that we don't scribble outside of the lines. Good job. Turn your shoe again. This side is curvy. So we're gonna curvy color around the toe because that part stays white like a Converse shoe, just like Pete the Cat shoes. All right, turn your paper again. And this is another U-shaped curve. Very good. Color those edges. This is your guide to coloring inside the lines. Now we still have this circle. So a trick that I like to do is to all of, also color around the circle first as a guide so I know I don't color inside of that circle. This is what big kids do when they plan out their art. All right, now we can begin filling in the rest of our shape, our shoe shape. So now very gently color inside of your shoe. Now remember, Mrs. Idis is imagining that Pete the cat stepped in a big pile of purple grapes. At the store, you'll see them. They're probably called red grapes. But to me, the color looks more purpley. See, and I'm doing a sideways color. I'm going back and forth and keeping it as nice and neat as I can. 
Remember, if the video goes too quick for you, you can always push pause and catch up. Then push play again. There, there's my shoe. So now I have Pete the cat's head and Pete the cat's shoe. So I'm going to put my crayons away. I don't want to lose any. And now I'm going to get my scissors. Do you remember the special way to hold your scissors? The little circle goes on the top and the big oval goes on the bottom. And we're going to do a thumbs up cut. That means when you open your hand, your thumb goes in the little hole and your fingers go in the big hole. So let's go ahead and cut out Pete's shoe. With your hand, hold the paper and then with your scissors, follow the line. Okay, now this is tricky. We only want to cut the outside line, no inside lines. So hold your paper steady and open, shut them, open, shut them, use those scissors. Go around and around. We're not cutting any of the inside lines, only the outside lines. Go across, very nice. Turn your paper, go down and around that little corner. There's your shoe. Don't forget to recycle your paper when you're done. Next we have Pete's head. So here's something special. Do you see this little half rectangle right here? You need to cut with this because you're going to put your glue here to stick Pete's head to the shoe. So do not cut this little half rectangle off. We need that. So let's start here where the half rectangle begins. We'll do a little snip and then we'll go around Pete's right cheek up to his ear. Then I will turn my paper following that diagonal, going back up the left diagonal, turn my paper, and follow all the way down around that curve. Stop right there and then just cut down. Perfect. So we have this little piece of blue. Again, that piece is for our glue. So put your scissors away when you're done and then you're going to get your glue stick. Now remember, we've been keeping our glue stick nice and clean because we make sure we roll our glue down. Do you remember? We only roll our glue up an itty bitty bit. So we're going to put our glue here on this little strip that kind of looks like Pete's neck. Roll down your glue, close the cap tight, snap, and then you're going to place Pete's shoe on top of this glued area. So put that right there and press Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's Pete peeking out one of his shoes. Now, boys and girls, you are artists and we must put our name on the back of our project so we know who did it. So you'll turn around your shoe. You can use your color that you had for your shoe and write your name with an uppercase letter and your lowercase letters. Try and see if you can remember which of your letters are tall, small, or which ones hang down low. So here's Pete the cat. Pete the cat stepped in a large pile of purple grapes. That's what I did today. Maybe some of you have Pete the cat who stepped in a large pile of strawberries or cherries or maybe even red licorice. Yum, yum. I hope you enjoyed our project today, boys and girls. I can't wait to see your Pete the Cat on Flipgrid on Friday. Bye.